Hall on the heels of Senator Boxer is another pro-choice leader who's, who was pro-choice before being pro-choice was cool. Okay? This is Congresswoman Jane Harmon from, from California. Please welcome her. Thank you, Cecile. Thank you, feminists. Thank you. Thank you in the memory of the late Ann Richards, one of the greatest politicians of all time. Thank you, Barbara Boxer. The year I was elected, 1992, was the year she was elected to the United States Senate. And I'm sure most of you remember uh, Barbara leading members of the House over to the Senate to protest uh, during the Clarence Thomas hearings. Do we remember that? Anita Hill, uh, the image of Anita Hill and pro-choice women was the searing image of 1992. And I brought a prop. Here it is. This is a much younger Jane Harmon with my kids who are you know, oh, college graduates now. And my tagline in for my election, my first election to elected office in a Republican district, tagline, pro-choice, pro-change. And... The reason I won, I just want you all to know, and this is the point I want to make above all else, the reason I won in a Republican seat in Southern California is that pro-choice Republican women couldn't abide the idea of an anti-choice Republican winning that election, and so they crossed on over to vote for me. And they became Republicans for Harmon. They're still a group that uh, helps me. But choice was what got me and most of the women who won in 1992 elected in the year of the woman. And there's no way ever that I'm going backward. So, so. I was there on the House floor a few weeks ago. I proudly cast my vote against the Stupak Amendment. And I voted for the health care bill, but on the floor of the House, many of us signed a letter to the President of the United States asking him to meet with us to discuss this issue because as far as I'm concerned, our President, our Senate, and our House, all of which are now in Democratic hands, must draw the line and stop Stupak. <laughs> and there can't be for me health care reform if we force women to go back into the alleys. That was my generation, and I won't abide it, and I know you won't abide it. And I just came on over from the House of Representatives to say that there are a lot of sisters there who will probably wear this button and will fight as hard as we can to stop Stupak. Thanks for what you're doing. We're with you.